So whenever you're asked to find like the six trig functions, um, you know, or six trigonometric relationships of a triangle, first of all, everyone knows like the most common three, which is sine, cosine, and tangent. Remember like the whole Soka Toa you've probably learned? And this is like, you're probably wondering like, what is he even talking about right now? This is, has to do with relationships of the sides of a right triangle. So if I had a right triangle like this, right? There's my 90, um, and a lot of times I'll designate this as like angle A, B, and C, so that would be side A, lowercase, side B, and side C, right? By the way, the angles are always uppercase, the side lengths are always lowercase, so, so this angle A yields side A, and so on. So what this means is the sine will do always A, so cosine A, tangent A. Whenever you have the sine, cosine, or tangent of something, it has to be of an angle. You can't have like the sine of a side. That's not what this is about, right? You have to have the sine of an angle. And the sine is opposite over hypotenuse, which is O over H, right? So from A, what's opposite? You'd actually travel across the triangle opposite like this, and you'd get to side A, I'll do equals, A over, and hypotenuse has to be C. Hypotenuse is always the opposite of the right triangle. Right? So the sine of angle A would be that over that. And in, in real life, they might be numbers. Like instead of A over C, it might be like 2 over 11 or whatever. So that's easy. Cosine is A over H, right? So of A, starting here, this is adjacent over hypotenuse. Adjacent is right here, means right next door. Why isn't it right here? Because that's already the hypotenuse. The already has a name. So this is A over H. <coughs> the adjacent would be B over, we agree, the hypotenuse is C, okay? So the cosine of him is him over him, done. Tangent is always opposite over adjacent, which means opposite, A, too many letters over here, A over adjacent, which is B. Okay, so that's just a review. I mean, you've already learned, probably you can watch my other video on sine, cosine, and tangent, but I started this whole spiel with what are the six trigonometric functions? And actually, I recommend that you find three and then the other three of the six are just the reciprocal. So watch. Sine is O over H. Cosine, again, is A over H. Tangent is O over A. Well, the other six, that's only three trig functions. The other three, the other three are the inverse of sine is cosecant, right? The inverse of, of cosine is secant. And the inverse of, of tangent is cotangent. Now, before we go on, this is mildly annoying. It looks like these would be related, cosine and cosecant. That's a little bit of like a curveball. Don't mess that up. The inverse of sine is cosecant. The inverse of cosine is secant. Now, the inverse, I keep saying that word like, okay, you know, right, we agree. It makes me sound smart, but what is the inverse? It's literally the flip of. So if sine is O over H, cosecant is H over O. Right? So if the cosine is A over H, the secant is H over A. Similarly, if tangent is O over A, this is A over O. Okay, now that like I've confused most of America, let's do this with actual numbers. Letters are like sort of misleading, right? So now this is gonna be, it's all gonna come together. This reminds me of like the Miyagi thing where the kid was painting fences and like washing cars and he didn't understand. Secretly, he was learning. That's what's going on right here. All right, watch this. Here's a right triangle, right? And we'll call this angle, okay, so we'll say this is three, four, and five. And we'll call this angle A. And they want the six trigonometric functions, ratios of A. So we're gonna have sine of A equals cosine of A equals tangent of A equals, then the flips, cosec of A equals, uh, sec of A equals, and cot, cotangent of A equals. All I have to do is find the first three, because these are just flips, right? So if you don't mess these up, these are done. Sine of A, opposite over hypotenuse, da -da 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 -da. three over hypotenuse, five. I immediately know the cosec of A, five over three. All right, it's coming together. Okay, cosine of A is adjacent over hypotenuse, four over five. Right away, the secant has to be five over four, magically. 
Tangent opposite over adjacent, three over four. So what's cotangent? You in the back? You in the back? Right, it's four over three, done. So that's the six, one, two, three, four, five, six uh, trigonometric functions. And they, um, they're straightforward, especially if you truly understand the first three, which are more common, flip them and you have the next three. So that's it. And remember, if you're having a hard time in your local, uh, your local high school with trig or any other class, you can take them online at Silicon Valley High School and the credits will be then transferred back to your school. Thanks.